Long-billed curlews are North America's largest shorebird, recognizable by their distinctive long, curved bill. They breed and nest in the prairie grasslands of the Intermountain West and prefer open grasslands for nesting. Their versatile long beak captures tasty insects like grasshoppers, worms, and other invertebrates. Curlews from Idaho and Montana have been tracked to wintering grounds in the Central Valley of California and interior Mexico. But nothing was known until recently about where Wyoming's nesting populations migrate to. In Wyoming, long-billed curlews are listed as a species of greatest conservation need. Wyoming Game and Fish non-game biologist Susan Patla in Jackson recently teamed up with Dr. Jake Carlisle from the Boise, Idaho-based Intermountain Bird Observatory, along with some local landowners and volunteers, to capture and mark seven long-billed curlews in northwest Wyoming. The birds were fitted with GPS transmitters to allow biologists to monitor reproductive success, birds' migratory routes, their timing of migrations, and habitat choices. Blood samples were obtained for genetic analysis to determine a connection between different nesting populations. Throat swabs checked for presence of West Nile virus antibodies. This year, birds were captured and marked in Grand Teton National Park, the National Elk Refuge, the Cody area, and private lands near Daniel. The study uncovered an interesting finding from a nesting female curlew fitted with a transmitter in 2014 on the National Elk Refuge. Named AJ from the letters on her leg band, AJ spent her winter nearly 100 miles south of Mazatlan on the west coast of Mexico. No previously marked curlews from the Intermountain West had wintered there. In late March, AJ migrated back north. Though her return route was different, she returned to the refuge to establish another nest in May 2015. Researchers were able to capture and mark her mate to determine if his travels mimicked those of AJ. Nesting usually wraps up by the end of June with females departing first, leaving the care of the young to males who leave a few weeks later when the young can migrate on their own. The Wyoming study is part of a larger effort by the Intermountain Bird Observatory to study the regional population. Fifteen additional curlews were tagged in Idaho and Montana this year. Funding for the Wyoming study is being provided by the Wyoming Game and Fish Department, the Governor's Big Game License Coalition, the Bureau of Land Management, and the Meg and Burt Rains Wildlife Fund, a Jackson nonprofit. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.